Up next on Newsmakers, the eco-friendly features at the Mercer Slough Environmental Education Center. That's coming up next. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We're in Bellevue today at the Mercer Slough Environmental Education Center. And joining me right now is Dustin Van Newlin. Dustin, thanks so much for coming on the sure. program. You're park ranger as well as educational programs coordinator here right. at Mercer Slough Environmental Education Center. It's a mouthful. Thanks so much <laughs> for having us here. Sure. Uh, before we start talking about the Environmental Education Center itself, I wanted to ask you a little bit about Mercer Slough because mm -hmm. It's a, it's a beautiful place to be in a very, very dense urban area, which is Bellevue. Right, yeah, this is um, a 320 or so acre park. Um, it's the largest continuous wetland on Lake Washington. Wow. Um, and it's also only a couple of miles from downtown Bellevue with all the big buildings. Um, so it's kind of an escape from the city for a lot of people. It's really a hidden gem. Yeah, it is. It's um, very peaceful here, very quiet. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a great place for a lot of wildlife. We've got tons and tons of birds. Uh, it's kind of a birder's paradise to come down here and, and uh, see all the stuff we've got. Tell us a little bit about the Environmental Education Center because you all put a lot of thought in this. You wanted to put um, as little a carbon footprint as possible right, right next to Mercer Slough. Yeah, so uh, before this campus was here, there was really nothing but woods. Um, and to try and minimize the impact, uh, the architects came in beforehand, mapped all the trees, and decided to put buildings in between the trees rather than cut them down. So you can probably see, if you're looking around here, there's lots of big old trees around. Um, and that was on purpose to try and minimize the impact when they were building these things. Um, a few of the techniques they used were things like building, putting the buildings on piers instead of building uh, a footprint on the ground, a, a big concrete slab that would have disturbed some of the soil and the water flow. Uh, they put them up on stilts, put these buildings on stilts so that water and air and uh, natural processes could still occur even though the buildings are right here. What about the materials themselves? Um, everything that was used for the building and construction is either recycled material or certified um, natural material. If it wasn't recycled or um, from some kind of sustainable construction company. Um, they made sure that it was very simple materials that could be very easily recycled after the buildings have, have long vanished. I was noticing on at least one of the, the roofs uh, the ability to capture the rainwater. Right, so one of the techniques we used here was we capture rainwater on one of the roofs um, and store it in some huge cisterns, underground um, containers. Basically they're big rain barrels and we pump that water out during the dry season, during the summer, to our living roofs. Uh, the living roofs are covered in some very dense plants that kind of help to keep the buildings um, nice and cool during the summer and keep them warm during the winter so that lowers the amount of energy we have to use for heating and cooling. As part of the title, Environmental Education Center, tell us a little bit about the education component. Well, we've got a, a really cool thing going on here. Uh, the City of Bellevue is in a partnership with the Pacific Science Center from downtown Seattle, but they've got a full-time staff of teachers here um, who do programming alongside of us. Um, and so we do a lot of education here, both the City of Bellevue and Pacific Science Center. Um, the things that we do are kind of family-based, um, and we have a lot of guest speakers that come and give presentations here. We do movie nights, we give tours of the nature park. Um, you can take a, a ranger-led tour um, and learn about some of the history and some of the plants and animals that live here. Fantastic. Dustin, thanks so much for talking to us today and thanks for hosting thanks. us here. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers Headline News at the top and bottom of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.